Hey there, welcome back to my channel, Libby Builds. My name is Aaliyah, and today I've got another speed build for you. This build is the tiny eco craftsman that I have built in Evergreen Harbor. If you enjoyed this video, I hope that you will leave a like and a comment below telling me what you think. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I would really, really appreciate it. But as for the build, you can see that right now I'm doing the roofing and the exterior of the home. This is probably the second attempt I had at doing this home because I was having trouble with the roofing because for the craftsman style, there's often that little peak point in the front and I was having issues with getting that to be the right size and shape and vibe for the size of the home because as it is a tiny home, which I think it is technically categorized as a small home in the tiny living categories, but because of the small size of the home, um, it was hard to get that true craftsman vibe, but I think how it ended up ends up being like really cute and whether or not you think it's truly a craftsman style, I think it's cute. So who the heck cares? And um, I end up changing the exterior um, wallpaper many times. As you can see, I've already changed it like twice and um, it ends up being, I think, I think the lower part, like the main level ends up staying what it is now but the roofing gets the eco lifestyle siding, like the wood siding gets that and it ends up looking really, really nice and adds to the curb appeal of this home very nicely. And so right now the home is pretty basic, but once it gets all the landscaping and it ends up looking really nice and I think it fits the eco lifestyle vibes really well. And uh, if you take a look at the screenshots at the end of this video, actually, you'll see that this house, like when looking at it from the front, you can see that in the background, there are some mountains behind that like old railway station. And the mountains just make it look so pretty and it's very picturesque location. I didn't notice there were mountains before, but I really like that. I think it really adds like to this home's kind of vibe. Um, if you know anything about Banff or Jasper, our national parks in um, Alberta, Canada, I just kind of feel like this house could fit easily in the vibes of those areas just because I think it really would look great in a mountain area. Just like it looks very cottagey and warm and inviting and it's small so it could really just be a cottage instead of a home but here it is an evergreen harbor regardless um i personally think i would really enjoy having like a like uh winter not winter but like mountain kind of pack i don't know what the heck would be in it but i just personally really like that whole vibe um, I have literally no idea what kind of gameplay you would even add to that, but I think the world would look really pretty. <laughs> so that's basically what I, my thoughts on that. Um, there's someone knocking somewhere on my building, which is annoying, but I'm not gonna stop this voiceover. <laughs> Does that ever happen to any of you who do YouTube? or streaming like just like loud noises just interrupting like sometimes i'm just not gonna restart it wasn't that loud so anyways um as you can see i have been doing the kitchen and um you probably can already tell like you're like aliyah that stove isn't gonna work you didn't take the countertop away it's not gonna work your sim's not gonna be able to make food yeah, well, I realized that later, um, it's not in the footage, but when I uh, play tested this, um, there was a few things that just weren't working and that was one of them. So that is fixed. And so if you were to download this off the gallery, 
your sim can cook. It actually took me a while for it to get to work. I don't know why it was being so finicky, but it really was. And same, the other thing that was not working was the tub in the bathroom. I literally don't know why that wasn't working. I think it was just being bitchy. I know, can an item really be bitchy? Yes, yes it can. It was just being a pain in the behind. It was just not, I don't know why it wasn't working to be honest. Like, I really don't understand, but eventually it started working after I shifted a few things around it. Like, I don't know what was in the way of my sim being able to get into it at all. Like, I don't know, but it ended up working. So it's all good in the end. And so if you download this, everything should work unless for some reason nothing does. And also if you were to download this, all of my builds, it is necessary to put in the move objects cheat. Otherwise you're just gonna be missing items. I cannot live without move objects. I cannot build without move objects. So please, if you ever download any of my builds, put that cheat in before you place the lot please it would just be so tragic if you're like oh, this build isn't as nice as i remember seeing it on youtube like well maybe that's because you forgot to put the cheat in but anyways I, I know a lot of builders use that too so realistically if you're gonna download anything off the gallery i would just put that cheat in just just in case like you never know they might not say it i know i don't say it in all of my um upload uploads to the gallery because um it says that on like my main profile page like obviously no one ever sees that but it's literally just says always use bb dot move objects please um anyways i'm not even talking about the build um <laughs> i swear my train of thought does not function um so i just finished the like living area and it had like um a mix of tiny living and eco lifestyle. I think the two packs end up looking really nice together. They both have similar vibes and similar color schemes almost. Like I, f I don't, I don't know if that's necessarily true, but I think they both look really nice together. Probably because they're both pretty recent and uh, literally eco lifestyle was the last thing, last um, expansion we got. But I think it looks really nice with tiny living just my opinion but um and as you can see there is a curtain over the open doorway into the bedroom so i kind of was like not into the whole idea of having a doorway just because it being a small home the sim who lives here lives alone and i just you know i wasn't into the fact that they need a door like they don't need one so there's an open like hallway door from the eco lifestyle pack but i put a curtain on it and your sim can in fact walk through it if you're wondering that right now watching you're like can my sim even walk through that door yes they can they can actually i was actually like a little worried when i was building i was like can a sim walk through this but when i play tested it my sim walked directly to the computer on that desk oh surprise surprise um so yeah it functions fully so don't worry about that and this is the tub I was talking about here. I don't know what was in its way because I always put like toilets right next to it, but it was just being like a little fart face. Me trying not to swear. I should just stop not trying. Oh, it's... See, my words are just not working. Um... <laughs> but anyways, yeah, the bathroom's pretty simple. It's pretty cute. I use like spa day, like tiles, just because I, I like their color schemes. It's still a new pack for me. Um, so I actually really like it for just decorating your bathrooms and stuff. It's really nice. I would really recommend the pack just in general. It has some pretty nice items, especially like I find that if you're doing something more luxurious, there's a lot of items that work well for that. That's just my, uh, little opinion on that pack. But, um, as you can see now I'm on the porch and I really love this porch. Porches are great. I personally would love to have a porch, so any houses with porches in The Sims, um, thumbs up, just because I love porches. In real life, if I had a porch, it would be a dream come true. <laughs> I don't know how everyone else feels about that, but I think it just adds so much to the curb appeal of a home, and that goes for real life and in The Sims. And 
I think curb appeal is really important in The Sims 2. In The Sims as well, not in The Sims 2. <laughs> I think I'm funny, but I'm not. Um, anyways, I in the backyard here, or the side yard, I guess you could call it, there's a few different um, gameplay items from Eco Lifestyle. So there is that candle making station there. There are these the bug boxes, whatever they're called, and there's a few planters, and there can always be more planters added in after, just because um, there's plenty of space there. But my idea for this home wasn't that it was like, a like, you're ready to go right from the start. Like, yeah, it's pretty expensive, but um, the sim maybe might want to buy like more eco things as they go along. And um, there are solar panels on the lot. So there's already, the, the house is considered a neutral lot, not a green lot. So there's still more that the sim can do to kind of boost that. And speaking of the sim that lives here, I have actually done a create a sim video for the sim that would live here. Her name is McKenna Poole and her create a sim video will be the next create a sim I do and may not come directly after this video, but it will be released. So look out for that and uh, the screenshots will be coming up soon. So thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you stick around, hit that subscribe button and thank you.